70% of the buyer's journey is in fact completed before a buyer even reaches out to the salesperson. Now, do you know what it means? It means to say the customers would have already done a lot of what? Research, study on what they want, their problems. And the moment they come to you, they'll say, hey, this is what I really need. And if you're not able to differentiate yourself from your competitors, now that's where I notice that salespeople tend to be drawn into price competitions more often than not. But you see, the good news is this, you know, because uh, according to a research that was conducted by CEB, you know, let me ask you a question, right? What do you think, right, is the number one reason that could potentially influence a buying decision of your customer? Now, what would probably be the number one factor that a customer would consider? Now, whether or not to even stick with you or to buy from you again, to refer other customers to you. What was interesting was this. The studies have shown that in this world of nearly homogeneous products and services that uh, we are carrying today, you see, regardless of the industry that we are in, today products are becoming more homogeneous than ever before. And they realized that sellers and buyers actually have pretty different views as to what actually what influences the buying decision and customer loyalty. In fact, contrary to what most salespeople think, it is actually not the company and brand impact that's going to influence the buying decision because that actually represents only 19% of the reason why your customers might choose to buy from you. What about product and service delivery? I think earlier George mentioned that. Now, why is it that it, con it constitutes only 19% of the reason? Now, because think about that, right? Today, we live in a world where everyone is providing what? Quality service. So quality service, instead of being seen as a good to have, today it is seen as a must have. What about, you say value to price ratio, Jackie? So uh, when we compare what Apple to Apple, is my price the, the best in the market? But guess what? That only represents 9% of the reason why your customers would even consider buying from you or to even stick with you. So which leads us to this question. What exactly is the number one reason that drives customer loyalty? And the studies reveal that there's only one thing that stands, you know, in the way between what being good and being great at sales is this thing called what the buying experience or the sales experience. In other words, right, we are the ones that hold the key to success, you know, whether or not we're able to clinch that particular deal. Now, because the sales experience is the kind of experience that the customer is going to get when they are interacting with us, the salespeople. Of course, you might be asking, you know, so Jack, if buying experience is so critical for my ability to attract more customers to me and to drive customer loyalty, so what can we do in order to elevate the quality of buying experience that we can provide to our customers?